looks good. Well, y'all, I think I might have should have had some red jigs in my in my box. I don't, I don't use red that often, but this water is red. And uh, I think I got a Joe Dirt tied on. So we're going to see if that'll work. Going to match that watercolor. See if it works. I'm oftentimes asked, why did I make the choice of jig that I used for that particular day? This was a trip that explains what I do a lot. It don't always work, but it's a great starting point to help you get on fish and find what they are preferring that particular day. If you really think about it, nature works in an awesome way with blending in with its surroundings. Sometimes it works, and at other times, you will find that it's the least favorite color that, that the fish will prefer for that day, but it's at least a starting point, and it works great a lot for me. For those of you that have asked that question, go ahead and kick back and uh, let's see if this, this, this idea I have work. Go! I don't believe that's no crappie. If it is, it's gonna be that three pound. I didn't think so. Dang gone catfish. Some may get discouraged by catching the other species other than uh, the target species of crappie. One thing that I keep in mind is that if those other species can see my jig, well, those crappie can also. Let's just put our head down and put this work in and find the areas that these fish are going to be. I know they want it. Down that throat. Another great tip that I oftentimes brought up in my earlier vids is learn your lake. And what I mean by that is learn where your fish prefer to hang out. And things to look for is bait movement, areas out of the current after maybe a recent rain such as on this trip. Water depth is something else that you'd have to take into consideration for the areas you fish and what the fish prefer. And targeting those depths and finding the structure, uh, that's all part of learning your lake. And uh, it helps me tremendously.
down their throat. <laughs> Yes, sir. Gonna be some beautiful fillets right there, y'all. No doubt. Finding that color, matching the water. You can tell they in love with that jig. One thing to be for certain about when chasing these fish is there are no definites. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is a great starting point. Don't write it in stone that you're going to go out there and you're going to find a jig that matches the color of the water that you're fishing. And it's going to be an automatic solution to finding what the fish prefer on your lake. Be prepared to make changes. Uh, that's one of the biggest things with being consistently successful catching these fish is making changes. If matching that water color does not work, go ahead and start making some changes. Uh, work towards the opposite. Work towards something that stands out. That you, you put it in the water and it really stands out. I find it at times that that also works great when matching the water color does not work. Beautiful.
<laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's fun with live scope, but I will tell you this, folks. That ain't required for those. Just ain't required. This wind is horrible out here. I'm not trying. I don't have to see my jig go down there. Stand in contact. You'll know when they bite. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, that's good. That's all good. And That's old Gooden right there, y'all. Down that throat. Match the color with what they want to eat. <laughs> it's going to be down they throat. Down that throat.
I don't know what that is. That ain't that gotta be a big old catfish. That ain't no crappy. That ain't no crappy. Pull and drag. Gasper goo. <laughs> Mr. Gasper goo. That's a big old joker too. Big old goo. <laughs> Hate that darn gone jig. Chill out there, boy. Gotta be lucky that I don't. I don't jug line no more, cause you, buddy, would be bait. That's a, I don't know, that's a pretty good old, old goo there, y'all. Hey man, it was a good thump and a good fight. Get on back down, yonders. Get. Yeah. I wonder if there's any crappy down there. That's what I wanted. Go. You can see that one come up and get it. Yes, sir. Down his throat.